Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a quick overview of my current hangar right now. Talk about my drones since the drone situation has changed drastically since I last posted about uh, drones and just kind of give you guys an overview on the strategy behind my uh, hangar. So <clears throat> first things first, uh, I, I got enough comps to get a, a third Hawk, um, but I paused building that Hawk because I also realized um, Hawks are just all over the place and it's super risky to have three of any robot in your hangar so that's just you know hey uh pixonic 101 so uh i built it and then i stopped and so unfortunately i came to my realization after i got an adrian and i uh upgraded a few skills so i caught it just in time um fortunately my alternate was going to be uh either a uh a uh, ancient here or a Fenrir and um, the Bernadette Wolf um, pilot came out and so I I went all in so I'm gambling for sure I uh, gambled basically about 5,000 gold that I had um, but I got some pretty decent uh, skills on Bernadette with her stamina armor expert Roadhog and tough guy all T4 and I've got the mechanic uh, that's that's growing ever so slowly with each successive game that I play. So given that that's the current situation, um, I'm hoping to get the Cryptic Fenrir, which will happen in a couple of days. Uh, where is the Cryptic? Yeah, so it's level 29, and I'm kind of milking it slowly. I've got 12 days to get to level 42. Um, I'll just uh, max that, that bad boy out, and that'll be my fifth MK2 uh, bot. In my hangar so i'm focused on mk twoing all my robots because i've never had an mk2 hangar uh, and you can see here i've got uh four all at mk2.4 um again this is just a uh, pure simple um nerf prevention strategy so if i were to continue to upgrade this hawk uh to seven more levels so that's going to be seven times 22 140 million times uh two no times four uh, you're looking at 500 million silver <clears throat> for an MK2.12 um, hangar of four bots. And that doesn't just seem to make any sense for me. I like variety. So with that said, um, the drones, which was the focus of this video, but I got distracted with my uh, robot build strategy, which I apologize for, um, have changed completely drastically. So this is, you know, drones for dummies, volume five or six or seven. I forget what volume we're on now. Um, I had won a ton of different drones in um, in the previous events. So I've got uh, one, two, three sharpshooters, uh, but this is the best sharpshooter I have because it has, um, <clears throat> as you can see, two healing skills, uh, two special uh, type A slots, um, and then it has just a throwaway, I guess what you would want to call them, B-type. Um, the shooter drones, I'm I'm definitely not going too crazy on because I'm not seeing a massive impact on their uh, on the meta. But <clears throat> given that, uh, my experiment, and I think I posted a video about this before, I ended up combining um, a ton of arms control chips, and I ended up getting a T4, um, a T4 chip right here. And this chip, the imitating rifle shooter, shoots out to 800 meters. So um, I, I, of course, paired this uh, bad boy up um, and it's, it reloads every 10 seconds. I paired this bad boy up with my Dragoon um, Hawk build because it gives me some flexibility between six and 800 meters to fire away. So you have to keep on uh, maintaining some sort of common sense when it comes to how you're gonna lay out your drones. So I changed my robot and my drone skills at the same time. So whenever I change, let's say my Fenrir out, uh, my Fenrir is going to be, uh, it has to have a lot of defense and a lot of automatic healing. So um, I won a Nebula the last uh, phase uh, for free, which is always great. Um, and this Nebula has a, a ton of different healing skills. So you can see here, it's got two healing uh, chip slots, then the D slots. I've got a defense slot here, which uh, increases my defense. And uh, I ended up putting in a recurrent forewarning defender. Um, and then I've got a couple of other throwaway um, uh, B-type chips as well. But really the point here was that I needed something that had the capacity of 30, that had a little bit of defense and a ton of healing because the point of my Fenrir is to heal. So continue to do that. Drones are free. There's no, uh, there's no 
PCs are uh, the green meth, as everyone calls it, um, involved in there. And I'm, I'm sitting at now, uh, I'll actually just take a look because I don't even know what I'm looking at. Yeah, I'm at 180,000. So uh, power cells are becoming more and more rare. So um, I try to use them sparingly. All of them are for free. Um, <clears throat> I won the glider in a YouTube giveaway. Mad props to um, uh, Zox and Islander for that giveaway. Um, so I've got him loaded up with the right skills that will pair him best with um, my Virginia Walker Nightingale. Um, and the point there is that I need some, some, uh, some skills that really boost up the healing. And so you can see here, we've got some um, freeze type lockdown action, which you want in a bot that's going out to get a beacon um, and you want some healing skills, which are sitting right there. So um, really you have to pair everything to the robot's purpose. Um, and I'll quickly go through this too. The eye I've paired to my Scorpion because uh, I have a 32 uh, battery capacity so I can uh, put the shooting one. Again, this is another arms controller. Um, I put actually, I ended up buying uh, with 5,000 gold. So I blew that target seeking cannon shooter. It's one of the best, better ones. Uh, the mini shooter is just, I find it to be utterly useless when it comes to damage. Um, and I paired the Scorp up because what is the Scorp lacking? It lacks health. So I put um, a health healing right here, 40,000 that's been repaired over five seconds. Um, it increases the efficiency. And I also put down a suppressor because the Scorpion's coming in, sneaking in and firing away. And another heal and another uh, and a freezer too. So the freezer should compound um, with, the, with the baseline <clears throat> that I had uh, with the, the Scorpion build. So the unfortunate thing about the update with the drones is that the, um, the slots here, the A-type slots have been nerfed significantly. Um, I believe you are unable in the store, if I, let me just verify this, you're unable to actually get any more freezer suppressor or lockdown skills. Um, so I lucked out, I guess, in getting them. But so if you've got them, you got them grandfathered in, um, but they essentially suck. So uh, the additive effect of the freezer is 0.1. And if you uh, really look at my, um, my Scorpion, at, you know, at, at the levels that they're at, these, these are you know, accumulating um, at about 135%. So it's adding 0.1% on top of that. Before it was pretty substantial. I had it, I had it stacked pretty significantly and it, and it froze folks down. So um, <clears throat> I, I think with this change, I may change out the cryo rhyme build altogether. I think Pix is aware that people are gonna be doing that. Um, and I'm hoping uh, besides winning the Reddit giveaway, uh, massive props to JF, Wolf, and the rest of the admins there uh, for hosting that that giveaway for the Havoc. Um, I'm hoping I can get a Havoc uh, to pair with the Rhyme and I'll just run two Havocs. Um, that way, frankly, who cares about my freeze accumulation? I will just blast people real up close and personal. So um, I would say drone changes have really mitigated the meta shifting impact that they had, they were really drastically changing things. Um, they aren't so much anymore. Um, and the final drone I'll, I'll review is actually this little guy, Wasp. I got him in the operations. Um, he has no healing skills. He has just damage, 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 and he is loaded to the gill with damage. Um, and since I'm running him with my um, Glacier Rhyme build, I've got 0 0.1, 0 0.1, um, and yeah, I think I just I just loaded this guy with a ton of crazy skills, just acid sprayer. Um, I think I put defense mitigator in there too. <clears throat> I put in a little acid sprayer. I went to town, uh, and and this guy is maxed out uh, at thirty two battery capacity. And you know he pairs well with this with this hawk, which you know the primary purpose here is to freeze, and he freezes like all heck. Uh, but I'll tell you, this is the first. Um, bot that usually dies uh within within a minute uh of, of deploying them so you, you do need a little bit of help um and i may actually end up changing the um the phase shift into a healing module to just keep this guy a little bit longer but um let's see what happens i'm hoping uh i'll get a special prize in the next day and i'm hoping for a havoc so keeping fingers crossed and if i got a double havoc then i can uh 
dump about 400 million silver into building those two into an mk2 uh and you know keep the cycle going so uh yeah hope you guys enjoy my videos and the strategies i'm using um i have of course decided not to really engage too heavily in getting another um another titan because my nodens is maxed and i may may just build a quad squall um if the time and the resources allow for it but you can see here i have only 1600 platinum so when the squall comes out into the store at about 600 a pop the 2400 plus whatever it's going to take 2400 platinum to buy them and then to max each one is about you know whatever 1200 i i'm about 5000 platinum away so hope you guys enjoyed it check you out later